Hello everybody, today I am a police officer in Robots and I am here to enforce how cool these new cars are because it's update 31 and we need to rate these cars. Starting off, we have the Dune Buggy, also known as Air Aerial Nom Ad Nomad. Or whatever it is. Anyway, so we have not made any upgrades or anything. But uh, let's get into rating how cool it is. Now, the last time we did this, there were seven. Um, there were seven ways to get points. I've changed it to ten. So we're gonna call this the Dune Buggy because that's really what it is. And uh, yeah, so I, I mean, here I'm gonna take it to the stump park while we get some of these ratings down. But I have how I rate them pulled up. So uh, let's see what it is. And we have. How unique. This is a pretty unique card. There aren't many cars like this in Car Crushers where it's only really a roll cage that's being shown. Um, so that's definitely gonna help. Um, it, I'm pretty sure this is the only one that has like a full, like it's only roll cage besides the tires and like the add-on stuff. And we're gonna crash hard here, aren't we? Yep, the entire thing exploded. So... Yeah, I wanted to get some suspension action going and just kind of make a simple jump. But yeah, anyway, so it's definitely a cool car. Um, I'll give it an eight. That's it's pretty unique. So we will give it an eight for round one. Add it so eight out of ten for round one. Number two, the second way we're gonna rate this is top speed. So if I go to dealership. We can find this out very quickly. Now, keep in mind, this is a dune buggy. 121 miles per hour default. That isn't that great. I mean, obviously, there's faster cars like this Dodge Challenger. I was about to try. I, I, I completely missed what I was going for. This uh, this Audi Sportback thingy. Yeah, that's faster. But, I mean, for a dune buggy... That isn't that bad, but overall, it isn't great. So we're gonna give it, we'll give it a six. Right now it has a 14 out of 20 right now, which is pretty good. All right, and next up is durability. So we are going to have to test that real quick. So, this is the wrong row. We need to go to row two. Row two is where we test durability. Hopefully, we got Dragster over here. We'll rate, we'll rate that soon. Um, so I need to break. All right. Is this row one? Yes, yeah, row two. Okay, this is the one we want. All right, down we go. Full throttle. Okay. And impact. Oh wow. Oh wow. Yeah, there's the ragdoll feature I missed in the first. Oh wow. Alright, so I don't know if the update changed the damage where it explodes almost more. But I'll, I'll have to wait for everything to Oh yeah, that's bad. That's like the back few pe alright, that that's a one. That that's a one. So, 15 out of 30 right now. So, it's got about half of what it could get. So, uh, yeah. That, 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 it it kind of got ruined by that one right there, but we'll see. Next up, engine sound. So, you might not hear me for this one because I'm going to have to turn this up. But, uh, yeah. You'll see. Ooh! Okay, so that is not bad. That sounds pretty cool. Um, then again, it's a dune buggy. Um, so engines sound, I mean, they all kind of sound the same a little bit in Car Crushers. So I'm going to give this one a six. So out of 40, it could have, it has 21. So just over half. Um, next up, top speed with a rocket booster. 
So, add-ons, rocket booster. Hey, it actually doesn't mess up the spoiler. That's cool. All right, so. Light blue. And we're going back and forth and back and forth. All right, dark blue. And then we need, I like how it's just peeking through the, uh, the seeds. Like, hey, how you doing? The rocket booster. All right, anyway, so. Top speed with booster. We're going to have to go to the, uh. Ow, you hit me. Um, we're gonna have to go to the uh, to the airport here to the runway. Hopefully, I don't have a dragster by me. All right. Anyway. All right. We all know that a dragster can do this pretty quick. So let's see how quick a dune buggy can do it. Alright, so once we get to that, once we get close to that ramp. Also, new feature I forgot to mention. So, if you hit the rocket booster, you actually can slow down a little bit better. Like, it used to just not be able to slow down. You can actually kind of put a limit to it now and brake kind of early. It only works on some of the cars, but yeah. Aw, oh, mean competition. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll work on that after this test. Alright, go. All right, we're already over 200 here, but we're losing speed. We're down to 180, 228, 228. Okay, got a long way to go still, though. Thing. 288. Gain another 60 miles an hour there. 264. Looks like a 288. It's not bad. Don't get me wrong, but still, I kind of expected a little more. I mean, I am lagging to be fair a little bit, but uh, yeah, 288. There we go. Okay, and we are at the top of the uh, stunt driver leaderboard, so let's hope we stay there. But uh, just to be safe, we're gonna search here. We want XO. Clear all the filters. We're gonna just spawn this in. So, in case you did not know, I am a trillionaire. I have every car in the game, and it is time to take over the charts and not gaze me out like crazy. Okay, then. <laughs> to you, too, Naki. <laughs> eh. Alright, so we're about halfway through, but, um, yeah, top speed with the booster. They, mo most of the cars will get around 300 or 200. It is a dune buggy, so I think... I'm trying to think. Six or seven. I'll give it its third six. Already. So it already has three six. So... Not in a row, just three six. So... Let's see here. Fifty it could have... I'm pretty sure it's at 27, which is interesting. All right, 4.8, that should lock it up. But, uh, yeah, so... 8, 14, 15, 21, and then 27. So, out of 50, you could have... We are at 27 right now. Here, let me just type in Nomad. Nomad. Okay, so back to what we were doing. Uh, breaking. So, let's see how good this is. Why did I lose? We're not gonna question that. Oh, okay. So why are we way up in the air? Okay, so how we test this is we go around to row one. Yeah, everybody's got a spoiler now. This is awesome. So glad they added that. Um. Okay. So we're gonna come around here. We gotta try to get. It. Oh yeah, that's right. We gotta get it even to even out with that yellow line all right i think that's good go 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 
Okay, break. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna give this one a solid eight. That that, that was solid. So out of the sixty points he could have, this now officially has. Uh, let's see what's that. Thirty-five. So thirty-five for sixty right now. It's maintaining it. Uh, it's maintaining above half. Next up is handling. So we're gonna have to drive around for a little bit here and uh, see how this thing handles but it steers pretty good which is pretty much what handling is it steers good it steers pretty quick yeah it's definitely get oh yeah this is how you make boats in this game so basically you go in the water and then you can if you have a rocket booster that's how you do it but you can kind of boost around and steer however you want so you're pretty much gonna need a rocket booster but uh, yeah anyway so yeah the handling is pretty good um this is my first time reading this one it, it's also it was also my first time reading engine sound and then there's one more after this that's gonna be my first time reading so this is gonna this is gonna be a little bit difficult to go off of so i'm gonna give it a seven but it it, it could be pretty bad i don't know uh, it well, this is my first time rating it. Okay, give me some slack. So, 35 to 42 out of 70 it could have. Yeah, 42 out of 70 that it could have. It's, it's doing pretty good. So, that's good. All right, next up is price compared to popularity. So, this is pretty much what, like, how bad people wanted it or, or how cool it looks and how much you have to grind for like is it worth it i think it is i mean this um th i mean this is kind of what it's for to be like hey this is kind of what this uh rate the cars thing is for like hey is this car worth it but this is kind of an entire section inside of it i think it is i don't know how much people want to do buggies among the car crushers community but a do buggy but it's this is kind of like how unique it is too. but it's pretty cool and it's only 21 million dollars which i know sounds like a lot but you can probably i mean if i'm gonna be totally honest you can probably grind that out in four hours in one day so if you wanted to you could probably grind grind that out in one day um so yeah i'd say it was definitely uh worth it if you want to check it out and get it it's definitely worth it so that's gonna if it is worth it it's about five about how much worth it is it that's what we're trying to figure out so actually this one's kind of a 10 or zero so if it's worth it yeah you, it's a 10 if not it's a zero i'd say it's good for it so that's going to be a 10 so out of so that's going to be 52 out of 80 as of right now so 52 out of 80 all right next up ramp ability and Yes, it does mean we're going to have to take away the rocket booster. That's spoiling. We need add-ons. There we go. So, see what we can do. So, now we're going to go to the stunt park. Now, you may be wondering, well, you already kind of tested this on ramps in here. No, no, we didn't do the right ramp. Yeah, we're going for this one straight ahead. So, uh, just a warning. All right, and... Oh, that's about 80%. Ooh, and we land with hard... Uh, I mean, that's damage, but not nearly as much as before. Can we get up here? Up oh, barely. Not much, but barely. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, we've done it now. Anyway, so... Ramp ability, it got about 80% up, so that's going to be an 8. Um, So... Out of the 90 points it could have, it now has 60. All right, last one, track time. So we're gonna do two laps at the dirt track, no modifications. So by modifications, I mean you basically take everything apart besides the engine, the seat, and the wheels. No modifications like that, just stock track time. No rocket booster, just a, no add-ons and performance, just the stock track time. Let's see what it does. 
So we're gonna do two laps here to get a, get a feel for it. Um, now I have gotten a record before, but I have never done this vehicle. So this is gonna be interesting. Whoa, okay, I was frozen there for a second. Okay, there we go. Ink check points left and right. Ooh. Almost caught the corner there. Wow, this thing is lagging pretty bad. And I was coasting that day. This is why we do two laps, okay? Most of the time, if you test this stuff, you do one. No, we do two. Because things can easily happen, okay? So, keep in mind, we had to get up to speed. We've been lagging, and for some reason, I was coasting half the time. So, this first life is kind of just to get up to speed a lap. Second life, that matters. Now... I, you can easily get about a third. I'd say about a 36 second average lap time is average here. So we're going to see what this thing can do. Actually, I'd put it. Eh, yeah, I'd put it more 38. So 38 seconds, I'd say, is about an average lap. So uh, let's see what we can do here. It's actually quicker if you go around that way, I think. Oh, come on! Alright, that actually didn't affect us as much as I thought it did. Alright, go, 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 go. Break. Around the turn. Alright, a little bit slower than average. But, that's still pretty good. Um. So, 43 second lap for a dune buggy. That has a top speed of 121 miles per hour. So, I think that's pretty good. I, I, I'll i give it a 7, I think. Here, now, uh, I have something cool I want to show you. I think I made a video on it already, but still. It's, it's so good, you got to see it again. Ooh, now I have a record I want to go for. Um, so, where... How does the golf cart... Yeah, that's definitely a hacker. Because there's no way a golf cart has the record. Just saying it now. Hate to be that guy. Hate to spoil the party. No way a golf cart is the record holder. Yeah, we have some, like, uh, cheer things. But we have... What's in here? So, uh, I don't know. Actually, they're putting up some pretty quick lap times. That might be realistic. Let's see here. I was on here before. I think if I, I think during every update it resets, but I did have a record. Um, so yeah. Anyway, so we are going to get a, another seven points for the track time for its top speed. E, e, it's fine. So so it was at fourteen, fifteen, twenty-one, twenty-seven, thirty. Yeah, 35, 42, 52, 60, 67 out of 100. So, that is, well, 67%. Yeah, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be the Doom Buggy rated. It has a 67 out of 100.